lovely people. I'm at the cabin right now um, in the woods and I uh, thought I'd check in with you before uh, going back home. So this week we spent time at the cabin and it was a good family vacation um, and that was also why I didn't post anything recently. But uh, anyway, I thought I'd talk to you about what I brought with me to read up here. So I finished The Trader's Kiss. I was listening to that on audiobook. So that one's finished, and I thought that one was a pretty good, pretty good book. I'll probably talk about it some more in the monthly wrap-up I'm going to do. Um, because we were going to come to the cabin, I decided that I would bring something kind of cozy to read, and I'm glad I did. So Wind in the Willows. Uh, is a very cozy little book and it's so cute I've never read it before and it's just the most darling little book so I'm probably gonna finish that in a couple days or so and I'll probably have to finish it on the road unfortunately because we've had a lot going on we've been doing a lot of hiking um, we've been doing a lot of just sightseeing and, and doing things with our friends so it's been a good time though um, I'll put in some of the uh, shots from the cabin. We have lots of hummingbirds, so I capture some hummingbirds, and that's good. Um, another book that I started on because I finished Trader's Kiss was uh, the third in the Throne of Glass series, and that one's Queen of Shadows. Um, so I just started on that just to kind of listen to while I'm cleaning up around the cabin and everything. And I didn't actually listen to Queen of Shadows before, and it's been pretty good so far. I'm kind of excited about what's going on with the characters. I've heard that this is not one of the better books by Sarah J. Moss, and I kind of disagree. You kind of find out what's going on with the characters other than the main storyline. So that's interesting to me. I suppose if you don't care about the characters, and you don't care, you just want the story to kind of hurry up and progress, then it's probably not not the best book in her, her universe. But um, So listening to that, and then I'll listen to the next one as soon as I'm finished. And I think that one is uh, Storms, something Storms. I can't remember right now. So getting along in Sarah J. Mass, and then once I complete that entire Throne of Glass series I will have listened to and read all of the Sarah J. Mass that's out so far and I may end up going back and rereading uh, Court of Thorns and Roses and may go back and reread Crescent City again like I said in the previous video I'm probably going to become one of these crazy Sarah J. Mass conspiracy theories because I want to see how all of these pieces intertwine because the next book she's going to be putting out seems to be a multiverse crossover sort of thing. And I like to see how that, try to kind of piece together how all that's going to come together. So it'll be really fun. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's pretty much all I'm working on right now. Um, I haven't gotten very far in Charles Dickens yet. Great Expectations. Um, I will try to sit down and start power throughing that because it is 500 yeah. plus pages and it needs to be finished. All right, I got kids uh, needing me right now. I hear them calling. So anyway, um, enjoy the B-roll, enjoy the hummingbirds, enjoy the view of the mountains, um, and I will catch up with you all very soon. Thank you so much, bye. Yeah.